Amid a spike in natural gas prices, Colorado Springs Utilities is now increasing the amount of the fuel it's using to provide power. The utility says it's committed to switching to natural gas as part of its plan to decommission the power plant that used to burn coal downtown. Radio News Channel 13, Scott Harrison joins us from along I-25, across from the Drake Power Plant, where you might have noticed some of the changes already in place. Scott. Well, the best vantage point to show you what we're talking about happens to be where we're standing right now, behind the Walmart parking lot on 8th Street. But let's show you what we mean. You can see the new smaller stacks for six new natural gas units that will generate power for our growing city. But utilities officials say the process to switch to cleaner energy is far from over. After Colorado Springs Utilities ended coal burning for power last year, it operated two natural gas units to produce electricity. Now they're being replaced by six newer, more efficient units to help meet the demand for power at peak times for hot days like Friday and during the coldest winter days. Predominantly, our energy portfolio is mainly natural gas for what's called base load generation. And then obviously it's augmented by hydroelectric power, wind, solar. By de-emphasizing coal and relying more on natural gas, Springs Utility says it reduces air pollution and increases power generating efficiency. while meeting a tight deadline to dismantle the coal infrastructure within a few years. But some residents have mixed feelings about the change. I can see both sides, uh -huh. and I guess I don't really have the option to just stop doing it one way and completely switch to the cleaner option. People on low income can't really afford it. The natural gas, you mean, or, yeah. other, or other things? Yeah, with me, if I lived on my own, it would be hard. Springs Utilities also can buy power generated from other locations, something that's much easier to do than it used to be. And those new natural gas units will gradually go online starting later this summer through next winter. We are live in Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.